defensive rebound. Utah needs to set a tone and set it right at the outset of this first quarter. Pippen's pass inside for Kukoc, and it's Chicago's first basket, plus a foul. And you'll see right away when Chicago gets in trouble and they need a basket, they'll go right to the post with Jordan or Kukoc. That time they posted Hornacek, Kukoc went on the backdoor cut and beat Keith for the layup. And Keith is tagged with his first foul. The officials are Bennett Salvatore, Joe Crawford, and Bill Oaks. Salvatore worked game one. Crawford and Earl Oaks worked game two in Utah. Three-point able to do is mix that up tonight. Not get into complete half-court, not into complete running. Run when it's there. Set up and execute your half-court offense when you have to do that. Jordan to Kukoc. And it's Longley hit with his first. You see Jordan holding the ball right there. Keith just falls asleep. Kukoc back cuts him. You see the floor is so spread out. Good pass from Jordan. And they don't convert. Kukoc inside. Another chance for a three-point play. Kukoc getting off early. See, Greg Foster didn't get to his man that time. There was confusion, Isaiah. You can't give up layups in this kind of game. Kukoc now off to a great start. He's got seven points and basically three layups. But no one guarding him here. At the last moment, Foster gets over. And Kukoc with a little finish around the basket. He hits his free throw, which he does. He has eight points now. All of the Bulls' eight points. This is if the guy comes back to the ball and you've already let that pass go, it's a turnover. Pippen over Hornacek. Kukoc. Tremendous body control. And he now has ten. Right through Foster's hands and taken by Rodman. Kukoc for the tie. He has all but one of Chicago's points. 13 for Tony, plus a Jordan. The Bulls still have it. 19 on the shot clock. Pippen against Morris. Isley's on Kerr. Scott Burrell in for the first time. Guarded by Shandon Anderson. Kukoc has been hot. And he stays that way. What a great up and under move. Tony Kukoc gets the defender off his feet. The little lean in. That's a tough shot. I think you're going to see him try to throw maybe here. Go to Kukoc against Malone, I think, in an offensive set here to try to stretch him out and go one-on-one. -on -one. Bushler, who's a three-point threat, is in the game for the first time. Camped in the corner. Malone on Kukoc. All the way to the hoop. 17 points. Remember in the Indiana series with Dale Davis. Antoine Carr can give him that presence. He can score. And, and Carr is a great offensive scorer. And he can get hot and get in the rhythm. He's one of the great street post-up players in the game. Jordan. On Russell. Into a crowd. Dishes out to Kukoc. He is just on fire, and intermission did nothing to cool him off. Well, how often have we talked when Tony Kukoc gets off to a great start? Up nine, that means you outscore the Bulls 15 points in this quarter. That would be huge after the poor first half offensively. Five on the shot clock. Kukoc for three. Oh, series, but Antoine Carr, if they win this game tonight, will be the key factor. They're up by seven with a minute 50 on the clock. Kukos. <laughs> and this is the big Kukos three. Look at Malone playing so far off of him. you got to get up and put the defense on him. Make him put that ball on the floor. Nothing easy right now through the Jazz. Michael. Tony again for three. And he was fouled and will shoot three free throws. What a mental mistake by Carl Malone. I don't know if he was on the line there, but if not, that's a three-point shot. So three free throws. Let's see if he's behind the line. Yep. Oh, uh, three free throws. That is that is a costly mistake for Utah. With 18.9 seconds. 
Kukoc, whose previous career playoff high was the 21 points he scored in the Game 7 clincher here against Indiana in the Eastern Conference Finals, has 26 tonight. Now you got Harper coming back in for Steve Kerr. Remember, he got a big steal against Stockton for defensive purposes right now. About the one thing now is Utah doesn't have to shoot. So if they get it down here across, they want to have it in the hands of a good free throw shooter. The shot clock is off. Utah has not been to the line in this quarter. Chicago is perfect from the stripe. Until that shot, the rebound. Kukoc will play it in. Pippen, who's had a poor shooting night. Out to Kukoc for three.